do me a favor right now and pause the video and in the comments, tell me your most used or your favorite language. All right, pause the video down here in the comments. They say to point down in the comments. In the comments, tell me your favorite language or at least the language you use most and tell me why. I'll wait. So I hope you did that because I need to know what languages you guys use. I, it's interesting to me to see, well, okay, statistics say that people use this language more than that language. I need to know what you're using. Um, <clears throat> in this playlist, we're going to use Java. You can see here some Java code that I've done in Eclipse. And I'll show you probably in the next video how to install Eclipse. Uh, you see I have some ints here. I'm searching for the value 9. We're going to rip through all the ints. We're going to find the value 9. If we find the value 9, we'll print the value 9's index. Don't freak out. This is Java. All right, let's compare this to its C-sharp equivalent. Oh, look, it's so similar. Make an array of ints. We have a target value we're looking for. Ooh, same kind of loop. Search for that value. If we find it, oh, we have to use something different. It's console write line instead of system dot out dot print line. Don't freak out, all right? Java, C sharp. Java, C sharp. If I alt tab between these fast enough and you squint, you can see they pretty much look the same. Java, C sharp. Java, C sharp. C plus plus. <laughs> Look, it's pretty much the same. Make an array of ints. We're looking for the value nine. Uh, this is the length of the array. We're going to loop through all the elements in the array. If we find that target value, we will print the index of that target value. Nothing to freak out about. In this playlist, this algorithms playlist, that's all we're going to use. The basics, uh, make some memory, rip through some data structures. Don't stress out, okay? C++, Java, C++, Java. Assembly! Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, look, this is assembly code. All right, this looks significantly different than the other languages I've sh just showed you. But I, again, I just want to drill home the fact that these computers are stupid machines. And the point of mastering algorithms is to be able to take some concept we whiteboard or talk about and teach the computer in the computer's language how to execute the instructions. Look, 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 here's our array again. All right, and then we're gonna use ECX. This is my I, I'm gonna rip through the loop using ECX accounting register. And we say, hey, is this the value we're looking for? We're looking for the value nine. If it is, woot, woot, let's jump down here, we're done. Otherwise, increment, or I++, plus plus, we're gonna increment ECX, compare ECX, are we at the end of our loop? Jump again, go again, loop, 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 loop. Nothing to stress about, but look how stupid these computers are. This is about as close to the CPU as we can get with this assembly language. This is native instructions. I don't care what fanciness you use in your language, this is what the computer actually understands. And when we're doing algorithms, this is what we have to consider. So we can do that in assembly language. We're not going to do it in assembly language. We'll use Java. But again, if we're using Java, C Sharp, C++, it would be awesome if you saw the examples in Java and converted it to whatever language you want to. Okay, it could be your favorite language. That would be a very good exercise for you. It'd, it'd force you to at least type the stuff up. You need to see the code. It needs to go through your eyes, through your brain, out your fingertips. That's a good thing. Ideally, you don't even look at my code. You just kind of understand the algorithm and you type the algorithm up. We'll talk about that more in future videos. But I always hesitate when people say, oh, my favorite language is this. If, it, if we can't use whatever language this is or whatever IDE or whatever, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it's not worthy of my time, okay? This tool, whatever tool it is, whatever language it is, is the best tool for the job and any job that's out there. Could you imagine if you went to your dentist and your dentist had one tool and it was a drill? Hey, how's it going? Check out this new drill I got. It's way better and way cheaper than the ones they sell in dental school. Awesome for getting rid of cavities. But I noticed you didn't have any cavities. But I did see a piece of lettuce down there in your gum. Let's see if you can fix that with this. Hold on. I got it. Yeah, let's.
let's not go there, okay? That could be very bad. So don't get married to your tools, all right? You want a nice full toolbox. You want to train yourself on every tool possible. And then you want to use the proper tool in the proper place or the right tool for the right job. So don't think that one language dominates the other. They all have their strengths. They all have their weaknesses. In this playlist, I've chosen Java. Let's roll. I hope you told me in the comments which language you use the most often and why. If you haven't, please repent and do so now. Give me a like and a share. We want everyone who wants to be a rock star to become a rock star. I need your help getting the word out there. 